Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. This is Big Girl Diary. Okay. If you're a royal from the UK, you messed up. You messed up. Okay, King Charles. This right here falls on you. Yeah, it does. Your second son, his first child's birthday. Prince Archie, it was his birthday. And you couldn't even give him a shout out. You couldn't say happy birthday, nothing. It was mum's, uh, it was mum silent, just zero, zip. Now it hit the news and I, th I just thought that, now I thought, I'm like, wow, that right there was a big time snub. And there are some families, there are some grandparents who do not accept their child, uh, their, their grandchildren, due to the choices of their children make. I don't like that mate, so I'm not going to accept those children. But I'm not saying that this is the case here. I'm not saying that. I don't know if Megan has truly been accepted, nor would anyone ever really tell the truth. I'm going to leave it right there. I am, but I feel bad for Prince. Um, Prince Archie. Now, this is some BS. It's some BS. And, and I'm going to show you why I say it's BS. They're saying that it's protocol. Queen Elizabeth II. This is, let me, let me just show you. Interesting. So here, Prince Archie did not receive a public shout out from the Royals on his fifth birthday. And while this ruffled a few feathers amongst the Duke and du Duchess of Sussex. It turns <clears throat> out there's an explanation for the radio silence. Protocol, uh oh, protocol changed in September 2022 following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Now, this is why I call BS. Okay. I'm going to call BS for this reason. They can change whatever they want, when they want, and they do it all the time. All of a sudden, they want to listen to what Queen Elizabeth II uh, said and put into place. Now they want to adhere to things. They cherry pick and pick and choose what they choose to put into action. Like this. Now, this is small. Hi, grandson. Love you. Love you, grandson. Yeah, they, they could have simply did that, but no, that's not what they did. Total silence. But here, check this out. They can um, pick and choose whenever they want to. Yes, I'm going there. Queen Elizabeth. The royal drop consort from Queen Elizabeth's title. That's a big deal. Now, you can't say, happy birthday, Archie, my grandson. I just so adore you. Nope, nothing. But her? I guess his priorities are her and forget about the prosperity. He won't remember me saying hi. It don't matter. <laughs> Now here, the Buckingham Palace uh, released King Charles' coronation invitation on Tuesday, giving the royal watchers much to discuss And here. And put it on Twitter. Here, uh, the, official uh, the official invitation for the coronation of King Charles and Queen, uh-oh. So here, it's, it's no longer Queen Consort, it's Queen Camilla, but you can't say happy birthday to your grandson because of protocol. Nah, you're just cherry picking King Charles. But however, we will acknowledge you. I know I will. Happy birthday, Prince Archie. Happy number one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> And, and 
and just take a look at this. Oh, Harry loves his family. Hmm. I'm going to leave it like that. And dad, you know, you're wrong. You could have said something to my son. <laughs> and I got a funny feeling, and this is just simply me. I have a funny feeling. Maybe Prince William, you know, had something to do with that. I don't know. He'd been acting pretty, um, how can I say, uh, lacking brotherly love, act, lacking uncle love, you know, just having one of these moments. Having a fresh and fit moment. Look at that. Fuck it, tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. I <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't choose your family. And Harry, Prince Harry can't choose his family. He could only be the best father that he can be and give his family what they need. And if it means that you're going to be snubbed by your um, father's side of the family, you're going to get a whole lot of love from the mother's side of the family. And that is a good thing. When one side doesn't act right, the other side will step in and put that love in there. So I know they're getting a whole lot of love over here in California. And we in the U.S., we love them. So. You know, the Royals, 